Hello everybody, this is Major7, how are you doing? Let me remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, to hit the bell, to get notifications from it, to hit like on this video if you liked it, and if there is anything concerning the topics I'm going to talk about that you would like to know more about, please write it in the comments. In this video I'm going to try to avoid cutting, I'm trying to let it flow, because I want to work with you. We're talking about vocal warm-up that I think it's pretty interesting and pretty useful during these days, because here in Italy it's the 28th, I think, day of quarantine, and I noticed that I am using my voice in a really different way from the one I'm used to. I'm used to having shows, having concerts, so singing quite a lot. I'm used to teaching in class, so with a lot of people having to use my voice in a really different way. And I noticed that when I approach the microphone uh, to make a video in these days, my voice hasn't warmed up because I have maybe talked with a couple of people on the phone and that's pretty much it. So I think that sharing a nice routine of vocal warm-up to do every morning, every time you feel like it actually, would be a pretty interesting thing. So let's get it started. The first thing I want to talk about today is a general introduction to a much broader topic that is good voice habits. So what you can do during your daily routine to make sure that your voice is in a good shape. The first thing is hydration. So remember to drink. Uh, also maybe keep a, a bottle of water close to you during the night. So if you wake up, drink some water. Also having a humidifier in your room working during the night is a pretty good idea because that makes sure that the air in your room is not too dry. One more thing is eating healthy food. And I don't only mean to eat vegetables and fruit, I also mean that there are some things that are better for your voice than others. So some acid ingredients are not really good for your vocal folds. I might do a much more in-depth video about this topic. One more thing is keeping a good shape, okay? So keep your body active. Remember that the voice doesn't come from here. Your voice comes from your whole body body is a total body experience and not only that it also comes from inside your inner side <laughs> it's all about feelings and emotions so having balance in these two aspects of your life and between these two aspects of your life is pretty important for keeping a good shape for your voice one more thing is good posture so we are going to start doing some exercises together right now. Uh, please, if you are sitting, sit towards the top of your chair. Sit nice and tall. Imagine a sort of wire that is pulling you from the, the back, top back part of your head, okay? So you keep a, a straight line, a straight back, obviously without forcing it, okay? We're not doing this thing. We are uh, avoiding tensions, but keeping a nice straight line. So let's dive into this vocal warm-up. We are starting this vocal warm-up, this vocal opening, from uh, the most important thing in singing, that is air, breathing. So sit nice and tall, we're going to breathe in from the nose and breathe out from the mouth. Just be sure to avoid raising your shoulders while breathing in. So it's not this thing, no, we don't want that, it's down, okay? So start breathing with me. Notice expansion. One more. Okay, now we are going to try to open our mouth, our throat, and we're doing that by one of the most common things that we do in the morning when we wake up, that is yawning. Okay, yawning is sometimes a natural reflex uh, to 
take more oxygen in and it always starts from your diaphragm. So it's also a nice way to start noticing where your diaphragm is and how it moves. And yawning is also a thing that can be activated in two ways. You can learn to activate it yourself and also we all know that if you see a person yawning you start yawning yourself, so feel free to yawn, okay? You are probably at home, in your room, alone. Don't feel judged, don't feel embarrassed, don't feel awkward, just yawn. Okay, try to exaggerate it, okay? Also, you can avoid using your hand to cover your mouth. Okay, feel ah, like it's opening. Start putting some sounds, some really comfortable, and low volume sounds in your yawns. One more. And let's start to put our whole body in this, okay? Let's stretch. This is what we usually do in the morning. Start putting sound, exaggerate everything, don't feel embarrassed by it. <sighs> nice, let's do one more. <sighs> All right, let's move to one part of the body that usually gets a lot of tensions where we are when we are not singing properly or when we are not using the proper parts of the body to sing that is the neck okay so let's be sure to free the neck from tensions and we're doing it we'll start by um, putting our chin towards our chest and so to have a nice stretch through the neck through the spine so keep breathing while you do this keep breathing uh, down, okay. Try to sit nice and tall, but keep your chin close to your chest. Don't overdo it. It's not about creating tension, it's about relieving tension. Okay. Now let's start drawing circles with our nose so let's start doing this movement let's do it pretty wide without exaggerating again change direction nice Okay, let's come back. Okay, now let's move uh, the stretching we did before uh, only to our face. Let's concentrate on our face. And how do we do that? We can do simply faces, okay? Uh, we can do funny faces, what kind of face you want to do, just do it. Okay, you can move all the muscles in our face, okay? We move our jaws. We move our lips, our nose, our forehead, our eyes, our eyelids. If you can move your ears as well, I can't. Okay. Let's start putting an M sound into this thing. Breathe from down. Mm -hmm. Let's move the M sound. I know I look like an idiot. 
All right. One more thing to keep uh, stretching our face is chewing your tongue. So just mm, go around your tongue, go around, go around your mouth and sort of chew on it. Obviously, without putting too much pressure, you don't want to eat your tongue. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's move to some lip rolls. Uh, these are a kind of exercise that uh, is pretty common when studying singing. Uh, they are called lip rolls because you make your lips roll. So it sounds like this. So we've got to create some tension towards the edges of our mouth and uh, to produce this sort of BR or PR sound, try both ways if it's the first time you try to do it. Okay, so we take the air in from the nose. It's basically all about finding the right amount of pressure here and also the right amount of air pressure to keep the lips rolling. If you can't do it uh, with your muscles only, don't worry. You can always use your fingers to raise your cheeks. Uh, I usually use my ring finger as um, a reference. I put it on, my, on the corner of my mouth and then where my index finger lands by keeping them all tight. Uh, that's the line where I want to raise my cheeks and breathe in. Let the roll happen. So if you can't do it with your muscles, feel free to use your fingers. Now, let's try to move this thing in the space and we're doing that by moving our head from left to right this way. Now we breathe in, we try to avoid stopping the movement. This way we are sort of making sure that we are not creating any unnecessary tension at the neck level. So let's do it one more time. Obviously feel free to do it as many times as you feel like. One more. Nice. Okay, in this lip roll we will then add some notes. Let's keep opening up our voice and warming up our voice. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, tongue twisters, okay? Uh, I don't know many in English, given that it's not my first language at all. Uh, I know many in Italian, so I'm going, I'm going with one in both languages. The one I know in English is uh, If a woodchuck woodchuck would, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Okay, so saying tongue twisters, even stressing the position of the mouth while saying them is a great way to warm up your voice and your muscles. So, if a woodchuck woodchuck would, how much... <laughs> if a woodchuck woodchuck would, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck woodchuck would, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Okay, of course it, must, uh, it might mean that you're going to have troubles in saying them, but don't worry, nobody's judging you. And uh, the one in Italian is this one. Se l'arcivescovo di Costantinopoli si disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzasse, vi disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzereste anche voi come si è disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzato l'arcivescovo di Costantinopoli. Ok, try to exaggerate every syllable, even though it might mean you lose a little bit of uh, uh, precision in some parts, but exaggerate actually should mean that you get more precise, but sometimes it doesn't work that way for me. Uh, so, once, one time more in Italian. Se l'arcivescovo di Costantinopoli si disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzasse, vi disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzereste anche voi come si è disarcivescovi scostantinopolizzato l'arcivescovo di Costantinopoli. Ok? Uh, don't try to do it too fast. It's no use right now. We are using it to warm up the voice and to warm up your muscles. Okay, let's start putting some notes in the exercises we've seen. So we're doing again some lip rolls, but we're starting to put a note, a comfortable note in it. How do we find our comfortable note? Well, usually when we speak, we don't use a wider range than an octave. 
So listen to yourself speaking and uh, try to understand where your comfortable notes are from there. For example, if I stop on one of the words I'm saying na, mm, trrr, this is a comfortable note for me, okay? So if you have any doubt, you can also use a keyboard to um, try to identify what is comfortable for you and then going there mm, and looking for it and uh, whenever you find it you know that you can start from that note so uh, usually when I wake up in the morning I start from pretty low notes so it might be an, an A or a G or a, a B sometimes or the ones in between obviously so find a comfortable note and let's go from there try to let the sound go and let it fade Okay, so take the uh, air in. Again. Once more. Okay, let's try to move it a little bit from low to a little bit higher and then low again. And the opposite, from high to low to high. Breathe in. Okay, don't uh, try too much now. We're just moving our voice, nothing more. We're opening it up. It's not about reaching high notes. One last time. Nice. The last exercise that we're doing is probably the most awkward looking and it's gonna be we're gonna stick our tongue out okay out all the way out this way okay and in this thing we're going to start moving our voice basically as we did while stretching okay remember this thing here so we breathe in tongue out Try to keep your tongue down, I know it's wanna come all the way back. And we're gonna stop here, okay, keep doing it as much as you want, obviously. We're gonna stop here in the same position, maybe with the tongue a little bit more inward, but anyway, see what happens in breathing really fast, okay? Like dogs, something like... <laughs> Notice what activates, because if you can do this thing, 99% you're also using your diaphragm a lot. So... Okay, as you can see, you can see it moving. And this is one of the exercises I was talking about that is gonna dry your throat up quite a lot. So when you do it, remember to drink. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, taking part to this warm-up and this opening up. I think that in this period we all need something to uh, stick together and I hope that this thing is gonna be helpful for you and it's gonna help you in some way. Uh, I really want to uh, dive into some of these topics uh, in uh, the next video a little bit uh, more um, precisely. So if there is anything again that you'd like to know more about, please feel free to write it in the comments and I will think about it. So uh, thank you all, this time not only for watching but uh, for participating as well. Bye bye, Pi Major 7. Well,